Hey guys, um, today I am just working on this section right here. Um, this is kind of my first step to making it so that I'm ready for cattle. I just pulled, if you can see right here, it's very faint. This nine wire off that's been off or on there since Pontius was a pilot. Um, I'm gonna pull any of these planks and old be, um, posts that are finished out of the way because now they're just not making it so I can get anything tight. And what I so back to today's mission here. So this is what I've ripped out so far. They used to have old fencing and crap. I took it out, that gate was there before. I'm gonna take more of this out and get this kind of cleaned up um, as good as I can get it. And then I'm gonna put that gate right there across it. Um, this was a weak point last year and I don't wanna do, have the same mistakes twice. So I'm gonna make sure that I can clean it up and at least make it decent. Um, what else can I tell you guys? It's a little bit gray and drizzly today. Um, so not too, too much going on. I'm just taking advantage of it. It's not too cold, it's about seven degrees. So layer up a little bit, just rains every so often on and off. But yeah, cattle in the background, they're eating over here, over there, over there. And um, yeah, just gray skies. I want to make it so that if I can get this section done, then I know that this area is secure and then I can actually start feeding them inside there. Once that's done, I can get the door done. Once that door is done, then I can have them at least where I can shut and close and lock the doors so that when I do load them, it's all good. So that's the process. And then once those doors are done, I'll put the gates up inside and I will get it so that it's a full sorting area. That's kind of the step process here. I have to saw off that future door there so that it fits in. And then, um, yeah, that's what we're working on. Um, just a note too for anybody that's kind of watched that new heifer that I bought, Candy. Um, I just saw her bulling today, so it is the 16th. I think it's the 16th. Yeah, I think it's the 16th. And she was an August baby of last year, so whatever that is, that's when she just started bowling today. Um, I think she was August the 5th of last year. So that's kind of how long it's going to take them to get it so that they're breedable. And um, that's one thing I'm just kind of playing by ear and seeing what happens here. Um, I know mine are a lot earlier. Um, the heifer crosses breed a lot earlier. I don't know if that's to do with the Holstein genetic or the Hereford genetic or what, but I know that within usually, I want to say two years they're bred. It's or usually earlier actually, and we've never had really big issues. It was we used to have bigger issues when they were bigger framed, but now when we had that thin bull like we had last year, never really had calving issues on the first time. They just popped right out, even if they're a bigger calf. But. I just wanted to let that give you guys that note too because it's a learning experience for me too with these pin scours because I haven't had them before. So I want to see what happens on Candy and what's going on with her. The next two I am getting are actually um, preg checked and um, so they're guaranteed bred. So that's going to be nice so that I can just kind of know when they're coming and what I'm getting. And I've decided to get her away from or get rid of one, at least one of my heifers, uh, maybe two of the, the new ones of this year, um, and try and stick to the Pinscour and invest my money a little more into the Pinscour and see what happens here. And um, I'll keep that little brown one. I don't know if you guys saw it. I call them one of the twins because there's two little brown ones that are kind of the same. One's a bull, one's a heifer. I'll keep that heifer and then the other heifer the one with the white head that's kind of actually closer to maturity. Um, I, I'll get rid of her and uh, just send her to the yards and make a little more money at the yards. And then that way um, I can pay for all this stuff, all this equipment, and uh, get closer to making money in this operation and get closer to having a herd that produces enough money to sustain itself. So that's it for today, guys. Um, this building behind me here is not going to get done this before this winter. And uh, as long as I can load, that's my plan. I'm running out of days. I didn't get any plowing done yet. Um, so that's 
just the way it is. It got rained in and uh, they got sto there's a pile of stones in the place I'm going to plow and I couldn't find it in the tall grass and the problem is if I hit that with a plow it's just going to destroy it. They're not small stones, they're mother of a stone and there's a big pile of them so I couldn't find the pile. If I can find that then I'll know where they are and then that way I won't hit it and then hopefully plow it. It's not going to be the best plowing job, I guarantee you that because it's been a little saturated. But if I can just get it done and at least it's plowed over, then it'll at least get me started. And then that next year I can just disc, hopefully disc, uh, and cultivate and uh, that should get it so I can plant on it. So thanks for watching guys, feel free to comment, rate and subscribe as always, take care, keep farming, keep having fun. I know I haven't been putting videos up, it's been more me trying to make money to pay for it all. So I've been off farm for the last kind of two weeks. This is the first day I've kind of been back. I do chores in the middle of the night and uh, that's what I've basically been doing. I haven't touched anything for a good two weeks. So hope you guys liked it. Take care.